So in this video, I am going to show you how to configure Google's credential provider for Windows. So this is where you can let users sign in to a Windows 10 or 11 device with their Google Suite account that they use for work or school. So I have configured this in over 100 computers in a school environment where students and faculty can log in their Windows 10 and 11 devices using this Google credential provider for Windows. So in the school environment or work environment, it's not necessary for a user to log in into the Active Directory. Instead, they can log in by using their Google G Suite account. And you can read more about it. So to configure this, I have to go to the Admin Console. So on the left side, you want to click on Devices. There's a tab here. Click on it. Under mobile and endpoints, click on that. So click on the drop down tab here under settings. So click on Windows settings. Now this will only work in Windows devices. So click on the first section here. Google Credential Provider for Windows Setup. I'm going to click on it. Now it says Permitted Domains. So only allow Google accounts in the specified domains to sign in through GCPW. And here is where you can configure the permitted domain. So when you add this domain, it means that whoever the user is, they can only log into this domain. So from any Windows device, once you configure this, they can only log into the specific domain that is listed here. So I'm going to type nowtrin.com. So you can add more domain names just by a comma and adding another domain name. But I'm only using one. Click on add domain and it's here. I'm going to click save. Now it says here, download the GCPW. So this is where you can download the latest client to install on Windows devices. I'm going to click on it. Now there are two options. I want to download the 64-bit. I'm going to click on this one, the 64-bit, and it's downloading. So this is the exe file. So this exe file I have to install on each Windows device. So I'm going to install this in this client computer. Uh, this is Windows 11. I'm going to right click and run as administrator. Click yes. So it's installing, it's completed. I'll click close. Now I need to restart this computer. So I'm going to restart. Now this is for an example because I have this other login. So to log in using Google, just click on add work account and the users have to click on this. Now you're going to get this message because the client machine hasn't fully synced with the Google Admin Console. So it's going to take like a few more minutes before it syncs completely. But I can force the sync. I log in with my other account so to fix this I have to access the task scheduler so on the search I'm going to type it here so this is the task scheduler app click on it click on the task scheduler library you want to select the second one the one that says Google update task machine UA right click that and click on run now I'm going to close this I'm going to log off So I'm going to click on the add work account, click on the arrow. And this is it. So as you can see, the domain name is here at nowtrain.com. So whatever domain you might have here, it will show up like this. So the user only has to type in the first part of their email. Click next. I'm going to type the password. Click next and you have to click on agree so now I'm logging in into the client computer so as you can see I'm logged in as Tom and this is how you can use Google's credential provider to log in into a client computer. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.